<laughs> There's mites all over those guys. Anyway, hello, my name's Ian. Welcome back to Grow Zone. Today we are back in the kitchen window with our LED number one from Nelson Garden, our Harvey Six from Nelson Garden, and our experimental peppers, which, as you can see, have all but one little guy at the back turned red. It's been three months since the last video of this, where I showed you some flowers and, and had a look at the roots. Um, and now it's ready to harvest. These peppers are Ollie F1, and we've actually grown these once before. And these are cuttings from a plant we did in the DWC from Grow Roller Hydroponics in our grow tent. Um, there is a playlist in the description with that grow. We also have these other chilies that we, should, we grew in a Botanium hydroponics planter. These are called Rasmataus, and we believe they're pretty spicy. We're going to preserve these chilies and these bigger bell peppers uh, together in a dehydrator. Let's get to the harvest. Uh, the other reason why these need to be harvested today is that we have a bit of an infestation. They're mites of some kind. They may have come from another plant or just come in from the back door. Uh, these need a good wash and then we'll preserve them. These guys have had a really good wash. Um, the big bell peppers had a bit of an infestation of little mites, spider mites I think, little orange guys. Um, these have had a wash as well. We are going to save some seeds from the Rasmataz and also the Oli F1s. Um, these have been really nice varieties to grow and produce lovely peppers. There's a couple of things that you want to do before you dehydrate a pepper and you need to see if the pepper is rotten from the inside. Like these are a slightly overripe. We should have probably picked them two weeks ago. Um, so we're just going to save the seeds from this big one and also inspect the insides to see if they're rotten. I'll cut these ones up first and then we're going to put them into our dehydrator and we're aiming for the lowest temperature which is 35 degrees celsius and we're going to try for 10 hours and then inspect them and see how they look if they need more we add more time okay so we're going to inspect our little rasmatas chilies and also save some seeds i might take this big one here to save the seeds the way we do it is just a bit of kitchen paper in a, in a container of some kind uh, leave them on there and we're going to leave them at room temperature with the lid off for about a week or so and then we can put them in a plastic bag or somewhere else to keep them um, yeah for a long period of time and grow them next time let's cut these open see if they're rotten on the inside and we'll save some seeds i'm just going to go right down the middle here perfect let's get those seeds out into our container and then we'll process the rest and onto our dehydrator shelf Oh, lots of little fillets. So we've got all our chilies in half. Um, we're going to dehydrate them like this with the seeds inside. This is the one we've taken the seeds out and uh, to keep for later. And I, I'm just going to stress again, it might sound obvious, but I'm now going to go and wash my hands, wash the knife, wash the chopping board, and then we're going to move on to our bell peppers to process them. Uh, everything is cleaned up again and go and get the seeds out of this big one in the center here. Same process. Just going to put them onto the kitchen roll. There they are, look at those beauties. Perfect. Oh my god, they're going all over the place. Great, we haven't got any rotten. Um, insides or any trouble with that. We've removed the seeds from this one and the stalk and yeah let's get them in, in the dehydrator. <laughs> 